three, two, one. What's happening, everybody? What's going on? Finally back. Or at least back for today. Started a minute late here. I've been drawing this, uh, been drawing this cow, trying to get it, get it to look decent here. Um, Wanted to, wanted to have this done before the stream started, but it's okay. That's how it goes sometimes. How's everybody doing? Hello, thanks for tuning in. How's everybody doing? Hmm. <clears throat> How's it going, Andy? Thanks. Glad to see you here. Thanks for tuning in. Matthias, what's happening? Nadia, what's going on? Hopefully we'll see a few more people show up. Just going to finish the spots on this cow, and I think it's pretty much good for the painting at least. At least for this little live stream, should be fine. Just kind of trying to get back into practice, you know, been out of practice for a little while. I haven't painted anything in a long time, been a few months, so. Even drawing, I'm kind of a little out of practice here. It's been a while. Let's see, we got some bells around the neck here, the little thingy. Okay. Cool. Amanda Joyce, S.E. <laughs> Good to see me after so many years. It feels like that, huh? It feels like it's been many years. <laughs> Brigitect, what's happening? Enrique. I've missed my paintings too, so we'll see if we can... Uh, I'm starting out a little difficult today. I mean, this is... It's a little difficult doing a... An animal, yeah. I, I haven't even I haven't really painted many animals, so yeah. This is yeah, I didn't really start off getting back into live streaming and painting was something easy. So anyway, <clears throat> go on, going on, Philip. Yeah, I'm back. I mean, I'm back for today. At least I'm back right now. We'll see. Uh, Gonna try to stay consistent, you know. Try to keep it keep it pretty consistent from now on. We'll see how that goes. I'm just I'm just slightly starting to get back into things and, and figure things out, so figure my life out. Not really my life, but you know, figure out this whole thing. You're awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, so let's start with the, uh, I don't know, I'm going to start painting, I guess. Um, I'm not really sh even sure how to start. I guess I'm going to start out with some big washes of stuff, and uh, I got my fan here, luckily, so we can dry stuff quickly. It's plugged in. Hopefully it's been charging. Let's see if it works. All right. So that'll come in, that'll come in handy soon. Can I explain the proportions of the cow? So so Deb asks, can I explain the proportions of the cow? I mean, I don't really know. Uh, I was just copying this. Um, I'm just drawing it from this reference photo, basically. Um, the proportions, I mean, I, I, I don't really know what you want to ex me to explain about it. And I, I didn't even get it. It's not perfect, you know. Back probably needs to come out. Back leg. This little crease here. I kind of focused on this main overall part first, you know, the body section of it. And then I, I kind of have it in like two to three pieces, you know, so the body here and then this kind of the chest area and then like the neck and head coming off. So that's kind of how I put this thing together, pieced it together. And then the legs, they kind of just sprout off of that, like roots, you know, so that's kind of how I went about drawing this thing real quickly. 
I drew it in about, you know, 10 minutes right before the stream. Uh, so that's, I mean, that's kind of the proportions. Um, all right, so I'm going to start um, with the background wash. Looks like we're already having YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. I don't know why. My internet is really good, so uh, it's always a problem. It's always something. But it's all good. We'll just keep going. Hopefully you guys can see it. Hopefully it's working for you guys. You can see me. Just mixing up some color here for this background. You know, it's kind of a grayed down back background, so I'm using like ultramarine blue, viridian, probably some uh, ultramarine violet deep, which is like a purple color. Uh, so I'm just adding like a mixture of these kind of interesting colors. Probably put a little bit of brown in there as well, transparent red oxide to kind of gray things down. Um, I'll probably wet my paper first now, now that I'm thinking about it. It's been a while since I've done this, so I got to figure out my method here. I got to keep the cow white, so I got to be careful. You know, I can't just wash the whole thing. So I got to be careful here with what I'm doing. So I'm just kind of like pre-wetting the paper. You know, there's no such thing as pre-wetting. You can't wet it before you wet it, you know what I mean? But I'm just wetting it before I put the wash down. The wash of color down. So hopefully I can do this and it'll look good. <laughs> and it's a little hot in my apartment, so it's hard to keep this thing wet and that dries very quickly. I have the air conditioner on now, but most of the day I didn't have the air on, so got a little hot. This part doesn't really matter right now, the bottom. I'll get to that in a minute. Have my little water bottle here, squirt, uh, spray bottle, in case I need to keep things wet. It comes in handy a lot. So, how's it going, Don? Thanks for tuning in. Do I have an Instagram? Yes, I do. Uh, up in the top corner here in the video, my Instagram, it's the one at the very top, at Schaefer Art. It's my Instagram. Just look at the video in the corner, top left corner, at Schaefer Art. It's my Instagram. Yep, no worries. Or it's a link in the chat as well. But yeah, it's right on the video. I know some people probably viewed it on their phone. It's probably too small to see, but yeah. So it's going to look, you know, this stage, it's always going to look a little crazy, right? Like, there's always, uh, crazy colors and things happening, but it's all, it's, this is a wash, so it's all going to dry down. You know, it's all going to be very light, probably, hopefully. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm going for. Maybe some more purple in here as well. So like I said, trying to keep the... Uh, when is my next live video? I'm not sure yet. I haven't really got on a schedule yet, so I'm not sure. Let's just take it one at a time, okay? Let's enjoy this one. Let's not worry about the next one yet. Let me make sure I can... Let's make sure I don't have to quit after this one because it's so terrible. So just some crazy colors going on. Maybe a little bit more brown back here. It's 
well, I don't know. You know, it's the background, so it's not meant to be anything special, you know, it's just... It's meant to be a little bit wild. So now that I moved to the foreground, I'm going to get a little more uh, vibrant, maybe, a bit. So I'm wanting I'm wanting some of this to kind of melt into the background a little bit as well. You know, soft have some softness to it. Try not to overdo it here. I think that's a pretty good start so far. <clears throat> Thanks for following me on Instagram. I appreciate it. Hopefully I'll start posting there again soon. Try to get back into everything. Hi, Elena. I'm doing well. How are you? <laughs> How's everybody going? Um, so you don't have to add that much paint with watercolor. I mean, in the very first stage, not really. You know, it's all like washes and stuff, which a wash is like, it's more water, you know. But as the, you continue the layers, then you can use a lot more. You can use more thicker paint. Not thick paint, but just a different consistency. I kind of want the cow, bottom of the cow's legs to kind of be soft into the ground. There's also, let's see if I can do this, kind of have to wait until a certain time. I'm not sure if it's ready yet, but I'm gonna try. Um, there's like this pathway going down the hill in the background. I want to put that in if I can. And what I'm going to do is just try to remove paint. And I don't know if it's going to even look good. It might be too much, you know. But what I like about it is it kind of comes down and then it, it kind of connects into the cow, behind the cow. So I kind of like having that in there. Like I said, I don't know if it's going to look good, but, you know, like, you know, we're just going with the flow here. So, you know, most of the... Detail is going to be on the cow anyway. I know it's going to look a little weird right now, just with the way... I haven't filled in the cow at all. We'll get there. We'll get there. Hello, Mary. Thanks for tuning in. Glad to see you here. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Thanks, Matias. Yeah, if you blur your eyes, it still looks like a cow. Well, that's good. Good to know. Okay. So it looks like I need to do like shadows and stuff underneath the cow. Um, this is a little wet around it, so I don't want to. I could I could still paint it, um, but I'm just gonna dry it just a little bit real quick here, like probably like half a minute. I just need it to be dry right around the cow, so that when I put wet paint down, it doesn't bleed into the background. 
so it shouldn't take very long. So while this is going on, uh, I encourage everybody to go check out my website, SchaeferFineArt.com. Um, I just recently updated it, uh, the look of it and everything. It's still all the same info, stuff like that. I have some drawings for sale and some paintings for sale. Not many right now, but uh, this year there will be more. And I also still have a support page where you can donate to me on there if you like the streams or, you know, you just like what I'm doing. Um, you know, I have other stuff you can check out on there, a Patreon page, a Bandcamp page where I make music. Um, yeah, you can check all that out over on my website, SchaeferFineArt.com. And every uh, like 10 minutes or so, there's a link to my website in the chat as well. So if you see it pop up there, SchaeferFineArt.com, go ahead and check it out. And I also have a blog on there with a bunch of posts about painting and, you know, stuff just uh, throughout my past, over the past probably seven, six or seven years, you know, of stuff that I've learned and how I progressed. You can kind of check out all the posts and see like how far I've come and, uh, and maybe learn a few things as well. So pretty cool. Um, where am I located? Yeah, I'm, I'm, on, I'm in Earth, on Earth. Planet Earth. <clears throat> I'm in uh, Northern California. Eh, it's North, Central North California. Okay, so let's figure out this cow. So there's some browns there. See, if we look at the photo, it's, it's mostly, it's weird. Like, there's browns and stuff there. But I feel like... This is my using knowledge of what I know, of seeing other paintings and stuff. I don't want to make it just brown. I think I think I should have some green in there to really reflect this grass up into the belly. So we're gonna have like it's gonna be like a brownish with some greens as well. I think that'll be pretty cool. Show a lot of like reflected light. <clears throat> so I used Imgram watercolors. <laughs> Not sponsored. Yet. So I'll, I'll put like a little bit of brown here and there. Let's let's just see what it looks like. I'm gonna gray it down slightly too. I don't want it to be just brown. Might put like some purple into it. Probably using too much water. I'm really out of practice right now, so this this painting is kind of helping me get back into it. Hopefully, so we got like some brownish, purple color, grayish, but I want I do want to reflect some green in here. Like I said, it's that warm grass. You know that's reflecting back up onto the cow. That's my th thought. I know it's not showing in the photo, but that's my thought. So let's see if I can possibly do that. Maybe like as it's going down here under the belly. Yeah, you know, I don't want to do it everywhere. I just want to do a few probably going to look weird, but I'm hoping it won't. Maybe it's too green. There we go. Well, that's more purpley brown. It's a weird color, right? Purpley brown. I kind of like it though. Definitely a good mixture.
So I'm adding like a lighter, a little bit more water and I'm just trying to get like a transitional tone here between the shadow and the light. Cause I don't want it to be, it's not, it doesn't need, it's not supposed to be so harsh, you know? So it needs to just be a bit softer. Okay, okay. And you guys are talking about food and everything. I haven't eaten dinner yet. I had a bunch of food chat in the disco in the food discussion in the chat. All good though, no worries. Looking good so far, I think. Um, you know, once I get the the spots and everything in there, hopefully it'll come together. Mixing up some more color here and let's put like a little, this little tail is back here. I don't know what kind of tail they have. It looks, I don't know, that tail looks really weird. So I'll try to like, I don't know, maybe something like that. Hey, um, put these little bells in here. See the bells, I think, right here. Might as well just put that in real quick. It's pretty simple. Just trying to do like easy stuff first because just trying to warm up here. Yeah, Mary, the, this sketch, you know, it, it was a little challenging, actually. You know, it's not really perfect. Um, I struggled with it a little bit, probably 10 or 15 minutes. But, yeah, it's just it's just repetition. It's just practice. You know, I, I think I talked about it before you got here, Mary. I The way I broke down the shape of this cow was the body. Didn't even worry about the legs. I worried about the body and the placement of it. And then I did, like, this chest area where it kind of dips down. And then the head and neck off of that. So I kind of based everything around this big bulk of the cow. And then the legs kind of just branched off of it, literally like branches, you know, like on a tree. So that's kind of... Um, yeah, that's kind of... Um, how, I, how I broke it down easily or tried to. Um, what's the bullseye in the background where the trail is? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not, I don't see a bullseye. I'm not sure where you're referencing. Yeah, I'm not sure. No idea. Um, okay. Let's see. What's next? What's next? Uh, 
Uh, what's going on, uh, Eagle? What's happening? Thanks for tuning in. It's definitely been a little while, and uh, hopefully it doesn't show in my painting, but it's definitely been a while. Uh, so there's actually two shades in this, in the black of the cow. And they're very, you can barely even see it. So I think what I'm going to do, well, I know the black isn't actually black. So I know it's more of like a warmer brownish black. Let's just go for it. Let's go for it. Let's see if I can get these uh, spots in here. It's going to look really dark. But it's supposed to, right? It's supposed to look really dark. Oh, this thing? Is that what? Yeah, I'm not sure. It just kind of happened, so I'm not really sure. That's a good point, Philip. Enrique asks, do you already have the drawing course? Yes, I do. Check out my website. Um, you, you'll find it on there. Check out my website, SchaeferFineArt.com. Enrique, you'll see it on there. Glad to hear that, Evo. He says, bro, those how to draw episodes have been helping me. I'm starting to learn that it really is just breaking stuff down into shapes. Exactly. Everything is just shapes, you know. I mean, that's one of the most important things. Everything is just shapes. Once you get the shape correct and you simplify the shape, then you can make it more complex and add all kinds of stuff and form and three dimensionality and all that stuff. Yeah, everything is just shapes, you know. Sorry, guys, I'm just trying to focus here real quick. Getting these dark spots in here. So what I need to do real quickly, if I can, well, number one, actually before that, I don't like the point on this thing. Try to fix that a little bit. Uh, but what I want to do is kind of remove some of the darkness here if I can. Because this, there's part of it, it's not very dark, actually. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. What's the paint brand and brush size? Uh, M. Graham watercolors, and this is a number eight uh, mop brush or something. I can't remember what it's called. Um... Yeah, I hope this cow will look decent. Okay, I need to mix up some more color. It's not very strong anymore. Get it a bit dark. Need to do strong, bold strokes. That's what makes it look good, right? Strong, bold strokes. Okay. Well, didn't mean to do that. But it's okay. Keep going, keep going.
Okay, where's that line? Okay, right here. Yeah, I should have filled all this in already. May have to go over it with another another layer. To get it really dark. But for now it's okay. For now, it's alright. And I am really out of practice. I can tell just the way I'm handling the brush and everything. I'm just like strokes I'm making and everything is just really out of practice. But sorry, right, I'll get back into it. That's why I'm doing this today, right? We're getting back into it. Got to start somewhere. You could do this, Mary. You do some great work. I think, I believe in you. You could do this with acrylics. No doubt. Yes, this will be up for sale when it's done, probably tonight. If it turns out good, it'll be up for sale on my website. So everybody can check out my website, shaverfineart.com. Got some drawings up there for sale right now and some paintings. And uh, this one tonight, this one will be up for sale when uh, when it's done. Once I finish it. Definitely, definitely. This is my out of practice cow. Oh. You use the white color for where are white? No, this is paper. So I just use the paper wherever, everywhere it's white. You got to keep it the white of the paper. Otherwise you ruin it pretty much. Glad to hear a uh, party over here. Thanks. Glad to hear that. Thanks, Eagle. Take care. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Okay. Um, yeah, this one's not as colorful as I had hoped for, to be honest. Believe it or not, I'm going to move to a smaller brush because I'm, I'm just feeling like this is usually unheard of. I wouldn't even use a smaller brush, but I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm not very, feeling very confident today, especially with a subject like this, what I don't normally do and haven't painted in like, I don't think I've painted since November or something. <laughs> Do you happen to take commission for drawings, black and white, to be specific? You mean like on white paper? I mean, you can send me an email and just um, let me know. Um, you know, I'm open. I'm open to hearing the commission. Uh, you know, if it's something I'm interested in, then yeah, I'll take it. But. Simple. Keep it simple, right? Yeah, I feel like this kind of painting, it's, it's kind of like riding a bike, but... Um, 
it's like riding a bike, but on different terrain, you know what I mean? Like, I'm used to painting and stuff, but this, just doing a different subject and everything, it's, it's a bit more challenging as well, so, just makes it a little bit more, there we go, that's exactly where I wanted it, uh, just makes it a little more interesting today. So I'm just going in, I'm trying to add like these smaller like details and things, just like these spots on it and stuff in different areas. Just kind of brings it together a little bit more. Is it a boy or girl cow? Uh, I think it's a girl cow, but you can't even really, can't even really tell. Even from the photo, it's like it's not. You can't even really see. So, me, it doesn't really matter. Okay, um, yeah, this area is a bit troubling. I need to fix the uh, form a little bit. And there's some other areas up here that need more form. I think I'm going to erase the pencil up here. The pencil is a little bit dark. And since this is a white area, when I paint over that to show some of the form, I don't really want the pencil to show through. There we go. Just kind of cleaned it up a little bit. Maybe on the head up here too. Clean it up. Okay. <clears throat> yes, happy accidents do exist. They are not mythical creatures. They do exist. I rarely ever get them though. I usually only get sad accidents. <laughs> I don't get happy accidents. Um, yep, too dark. Okay, that's what I was trying to figure out. So I'm putting like very, very light kind of washes right now, like glazes. And I'm just trying to add a little bit more shape to certain parts of the cow that I really didn't add earlier, like when I was doing lighter color. And I can darken some areas as well. Alright, so what I'm going to do, uh, I guess I'll keep using this brush, a smaller brush. I'm going to get a little crazy here. Maybe not too crazy. Okay. Not that dark, but still dark. I'm going to go over this kind of section here. Need to fix the drawing slightly, I think. Oh, and that part's wet still. I don't know why I went into that again. I'm going to have to go over that one more time after this. That's great. Okay, that wasn't very smart.
really hard for you guys to see that, but there's kind of like a differentiation here between this like dark brown and then this black that I just put on. It's not really technically black, it's still pretty brown. It's just very dark, so it's hard to, you can't really tell what kind of color it is. Just trying to add a bit of variation. <clears throat> What's going on, Jeff? Thanks for tuning in. Glad to hear you enjoyed the course. Greatly appreciate it, man. You did did some great work. Great drawings. Hope to see more from you, Jeff. Keep posting in that Facebook group. <clears throat> well, I'm not really happy with these, like, purpley shadows I did from the very beginning. But... I don't really know. I feel like they're like too warm. I might be able to slightly change them. I don't know. I can try. I feel like they just need to be cooler. A bit cooler. At least in some areas. So I'm just kind of like glazing like blue on top of it slightly. You can probably see a little bit of it there. I have a brush hair on the painting. It's very frustrating. You guys see that? And this brush hair. Need to get this thing out of there. There we go. My surgical pencil. Okay. Um, I feel like the ground needs like, it needs a little bit more work. Um, Because now that we have this, I feel like the the values here with the background and the foreground, there's just there's too much similarity. I feel like we need a little bit more darks in here, maybe a whole glaze over the whole thing, um, possibly. That'll just kind of bring it closer to match the cow, you know. That's my thought. That's my initial thought. I think. What was I going to do? Oh yeah, there's like a dark shape here, like hanging down, like another bell or something. Try to add that in there. Add something there, I don't know. Uh, yeah, some grass strands as well. I'll add some grass slightly. Um, yeah, exactly. Especially like underneath the cow, we'll give like some shadowing a bit underneath it. So that it feels like it's standing in the grass instead of like floating or something. Um, let's see, we can put like just some like suggesting some dark shapes there as well. So what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, okay. I want to put what color should it be? Maybe like a red, I guess, some kind of red. Maybe a purpley red, since I have purples in this thing already. 
in this painting already. Um, I want to do a little a little uh, necklace that the thing, what is that called? Not a necklace. Uh, I don't know. What's it called? The thing around the its neck. What kind of rope or ribbon, you know. Can't even really see it. So the colors are so dark. There we go. Oh well. Okay. It's good. Let's glaze this little ear so it's not so bright. I still want it there though. I just don't want it that bright. There we go. Collar. There you go. Collar. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> Not a necklace. Uh, a necklace would imply that it wanted to wear that thing, I guess. Collar is more like, yeah, it has to wear this thing. I kind of messed up the chin of here, but I think it's okay. Or maybe that's better. I don't know somewhat better. I'll leave it alone now. I think it's pretty good. Um, the only thing that bothers me is this sharp shape right there. See how that just bothers? Does that kind of bother you once you see it? it bothers me. So what I'm going to do is just try to modify it. So I'm just going to kind of bring it down. Make it look a little more organic like it's wrapped around, you know, wrapping over the skin or something and not just like cut off. You know? A little more rounded. There we go. That looks way more natural, right? So sometimes it's just those little kind of details that stick out. You know, you don't want to go crazy with the details, but something like that just makes it look a little more organic. Okay. I think the cow's pretty decent. You know, I think it's pretty good. Um, I don't want to go crazy with it. I think that's, you know, it's kind of painterly. It's really nice. I think, like I said, I think we just need this foreground to kind of match it a bit because, you know, some parts we can keep soft, but I feel like it just needs something more. Um, <laughs> it's all good, craft, Matt. Didn't know you were a comedian, bro. <laughs> I wear a necklace against my will sometimes. <laughs> well, okay. Fair enough. Maybe you should call it a collar. <laughs> okay. So we're just going to do like that same color green. It's just cadmium yellow medium. I don't really like cadmium yellow medium because it's it's very opaque. But every yellow I've kind of looked at is is opaque or semi opaque or something. I, I don't I don't know what's up with yellow pigments. I guess they just have to be opaque. It's kind of weird. But that's it's interesting. I'm gonna add a little bit of brown into this grass as well. Gonna make it warm. So we'll see we'll see what this does. <clears throat> yeah, I know it does look darker here in the background, but I might add that in there. To be honest, I kind of don't want to, but I might. I might add like dark over here and dark over here so that it kind of gives like a vignetting towards the cow. Might help it, uh, but for now I'm going to focus on this foreground. Just want to add like some more I know that's going to look dark. I know that looks dark right now, but when I add a shadow underneath here, or at, least, at least a little bit of shadowing, it should look okay. And we'll add some dark, uh, we'll add some darker grass as well in here. I 
Yeah, it looks a little crazy, but. You know, we can add some splatters too. I like doing that. Almost forgot about that, huh? So I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of, I'm just winging it, you know? Like, I, I don't exactly know what I'm doing. And that's okay. Sometimes you don't always have to know what you're doing, right? Sometimes you just have to experiment and see, like, okay, that worked. Okay, that didn't work. You know, you just kind of figure it out. I like having some of these white patches in there. It's pretty interesting. Um, I should have had more of them, to be honest. Kind of would have liked more of them. So it's a little crazy. Um, <clears throat> yeah, there's there's a way to donate. You can do a super chat here on YouTube, or you can um, if you check out my website shaverfineart.com, I have a support page on there, a bunch of links to everything. You know, you can donate right through my website. Or you can do PayPal, Venmo, I have a Patreon page, you know, all kinds of stuff. So definitely check that out. So I made this a little too wild. Let's see if I can soften some of it with the water bottle, some water. Kind of hopefully it'll melt a little bit together. It's just a little too wild, I guess. Like I said, I was just, you know, seeing what might work, trying it out. Trying to get a little more green in there, maybe. Yeah, the color looks, it looks more brown on the screen for some reason. It's this camera, you know, make it look a little more brown, but it's really not that brown actually. It's very green. Just had to look at it from far away for a second. Yeah, I feel like we need some purples like into the grass. I feel like the grass is like too warm, but yeah, we need like more blue and purple. That's what I thought as well. I'll try it. It's very wet right now, so. I'm trying to just go in with thicker paint now. I just don't want it to get like too muddy, too crazy looking. Yeah. All right, let's dry. Let's just dry it for now, and let's see let's see what it looks like. Nope. 
<laughs> I know what I want to add. I want to add right at the underneath. I'm going to mix up some color for it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to wait. I have to wait. <laughs> uh, thanks, I appreciate it. I see. <clears throat> it gets better and better. I hope it gets better. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying. So I want I want to see this is dry enough now. Cause there is a bit of like shadow right underneath the cow. So if I can I don't know. I don't know if that really does anything, but let's lighten it up a little bit. Let's get like a little more blue into it or something. Let's see. This is very easy to overdo, so I'm trying to be very cautious with how I'm doing this. Just kind of fade it out. Put some shadowing in other areas. Add flowers and frogs. Well, I don't know about frogs, but I could add like some little, there are like little yellow flowers and stuff here. I thought about doing that actually already. So I might, I might do that just to bring a little bit more life to this thing slightly. I don't know. We'll see. It might brighten up the foreground a bit. Let's see if we can do that. Some nice yellow paint. See if it looks good. You know, we could just yeah, you guys can barely even see that. It's a little yellow thing. Let's see if let's see what it looks like. If I do it over right here. Excuse me. So just kind of giving like a little more dimension or something, painting slightly. 
some overlapping and stuff. Um, All right, I don't want to overdo it, but I just I'm trying to like balance them in a certain way to where it looks natural. All right? But also very pleasing to the eye. I think that's probably good. More isn't always better, you know. So, all right, Jeff, take care. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope the drawing goes well. There's one thing I want to do too. I want to add some green, greener leaves. So I'm going to use a little bit of water, but mostly viridian, maybe ultramarine blue, and maybe a touch of yellow as well. But I want to like a thicker green mixture, yellowy green mixture. I want to try to put in like some leaves, so like, kind of like that. You guys can't see that again either. Yeah, maybe it's too much. That's really the color of the grass. Should have been in some parts, but. Kind of cool, I guess. Um, <clears throat> thanks, Sarah. I appreciate it. Yeah, I kind of just drew it pretty quickly, like, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. So I'm kind of surprised how well it kind of came out. And I haven't, I literally haven't painted since like November. So this was kind of pretty challenging to jump back into it with this kind of a painting. I th the sides of the background need to be darker, I think. Uh, I mean, that's possible. Let's let's do it because it, it is in the photo and I don't always like to go with the photo, but I think if we like strategically darken the background in a certain way, it'll kind of give more of a vignetting to this thing um, that might be actually useful to the design of this thing. Otherwise, I'm not just going to do it to follow the photograph. You know what I mean? So... Since it kind of fits with the design, you know, has a nice design element, then I'm going to, I'll put it in. Yeah, I don't know if I need more of that green or not. I don't want to overdo it, so I think it's, it gives a little, I might even put some purple in there to really pull off the purple on the cow so that the background and everything kind of fits into the foreground a bit more. So I might do that next. Kind of add like a broken color, almost like an impressionistic type of effect. I think it'll go really well with yellow, green, and purple. It's kind of a good color scheme as well. Well, that was an accident, but it's kind of what I was, <laughs> what I'm going to end up doing here in a second. So I wanted to lightly glaze like, It may have to be darker. Sure. 
I mean, don't want it to be like too apparent, you know. And that's pretty obvious. It looks way too obvious, right? So let's kind of pull some of this back. Just looks too, too designed. A little too much. Yeah, it's a mountain in the background, I believe. Some kind of hill, mountain thing. You know, I don't know. There's a reference. So it's pretty good. I think the cow really comes to life. I think, you know, the background, it's a little, it's a little flat looking. It's a little blah, but you know, I could like, we can put some kind of like, you know, I don't know. Trying to add some kind of directional line up there. I don't really like that. Yeah, I think we just kind of leave it. Um, so the only one last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to get some purple in here. Just let's see what it looks like. Cause I think it'd be pretty cool if I can get like some thick purple paint as well. It's gonna be pretty dark though. Hmm, let's see. I know adding yellow is gonna make it gray, but maybe just a little bit of yellow will lighten it slightly. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, try this again. Let's just see, let's see. Yeah, it's very dark. Okay, I don't wanna do that. So unfortunately the purple is just like too, too dark. Otherwise, it would look really cool. Yeah, I could wash it on there. Yeah, it still looks it looks dark because it's wet, but it is pretty dark. Failed experiment, but I tried. Maybe some pinkish red. Some pinkish red stuff growing. Purpley red. It's kind of cool. All right, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I think we call this one done before I ruin it with a bunch of crazy colors. Uh, but that's the problem is like you have all these beautiful colors to use and you don't ever really use them like this, you know. So, uh, well, even if I use blue and red to make purple, it's still going to be a dark. If I make the purple or if I use purple out of the tube, it's still going to be still going to be dark. So, even b using blue by itself will be dark. So I like this. I think it's pretty good. Um, so the moment of truth, when we see what it actually really looks like, um, so when we take this tape off the edges, I think we're, I think we're there, right? You know, the only thing I might do, is bring some a little bit of darkness back, slightly. But yeah, other than that, I think, uh, how come cow has no ears? I don't know. It kind of does. There's an ear like right there and then an ear right here. That's its ear right there. And that's its other ear or it's on the other side of the head. Do cows have ears? Well, yeah, how do they hear? They kind of have ears. That's how they run from predators and stuff, I guess, or 
I don't know. Let's take the tape off and see what it looks like, guys. Uh, see if there's any last minute things that need to be changed. But this is the moment of truth. This will Let's see how long did that take? Hour and twelve minutes. That's pretty good. <laughs> Matthias, you didn't know cows have ears. Oh boy. That's how a lot of them, you see, they have like the tag on their ears. Like from the farmers, they put like that tag on the ears. Come on, man. You've seen the tag on the ears and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. Though. You have that moment where you're like, oh, is it really? Do they really have ears? I get you. I got you. Yeah, they do. Definitely do. Okay, one last thing. This is like, you know, very small details. One last thing. Just like a little bit of a little bit of color there. For the hair. A little bit of a little tuft of hair there. And what I might do just for the mouth, for the form of the mouth. I want to I went a little too dark there, but I do want to glaze this one. plane of it so that we kind of get like the side you guys probably can't even see it it's so subtle it's such a subtle thing see right there a little plane right there so it's i kind of darkened this area so that i might have to darken it more but you can really see it in the in uh, real life you know, it just it shows that it's like the side of the mouth, like the sides of the face. And if this is like the front, you know, and the top, this is the top of the face. And this is like, it turns to the side. That's all I was trying to do. <laughs> uh, how do I say painting? I say painting. Painting. So yeah, this is pretty good for like an hour. Um, haven't painted since November, so you know, be easy on me here. It's not like my greatest work ever, but it's a good, uh, it's a good effort. And we have a guest here. We have. She decided to come at the end. There you go. Say hello to everybody. It's been a while, huh? Tell everyone your age. You're 16 now. Don't be shy. 16. She just turned 16 at the end of April. So, And welcome to my fancy apartment. Look, I got the aquarium back here. <laughs> so, <laughs> it wasn't really my apartment. It's a green screen. Oh. Uh, um... You guys want to see me sign it, or should I just sign it later? Um, her name's Kitty. How do you match the colors of your painting? Uh, you just mix them. You just mix them the best you can. You know, that's all. Sign it. Okay. All right. Thank you, Sarah. She says, happy birthday to my kitty. She says, thank you. Okay. Um, I'll try to sign it. Let's see if I can sign it. Pretty good. Um, hey, Candy, how's it going? Sign it in purple. That's true. That's a good idea, actually. <laughs> Sign it in purple. I think I'm going to sign it in this corner. Um, I feel like if I sign it over here, it's going to kind of take away from the, the painting since the 
focal points like right around here so I kind of want to sign it on an opposite opposing corner so even the signature I kind of always um, part of the design you know uh, do you have to let it dry yeah you do um, it's actually dry over here where I'm gonna sign it pretty much pretty much dry so I haven't signed it in a while. Signing is usually pretty difficult because I, I try to sign it pretty small because I um, I usually sign it my first initial. I usually sign it like B dot Schaefer. It's kind of how I normally sign it. Uh, you know, if it's a smaller painting, I'll just do my initials like B A S, um, something like that. But on a painting of this size, I can just sign it with my. Ever since I started painting, like 2011, that's how I've always signed my paintings. So I, I try to. Over the years, I experimented a little bit, but I try to. We'll stick with it. B. Dot Schaefer. Let's get even closer. Let's see how close we can get. So I'm going to move a little bit out of the corner away from the corner because if this gets matted or framed you know you don't want it to be covered up but um okay let's see if i can do this mm -hmm. it's very Difficult to see because of this camera right here. <laughs> okay. Um, So there we go. Got the signature. Got a little lighter at the end here, so. Just trying to slightly fix it up. Pretty good. So here's the overall thing. You know, it's not too distracting or anything. It's pretty small. It's off in the corner, but you know, it's still easy to find. It'll let you know who did it. And, um, you know, that's just how I sign it. So, well, um, yeah, I don't think anything else bugs me about this thing. I think it came out pretty well, actually. It, even the grass, I'm pretty happy with once I added those flowers and little green strokes. I think it just needed that little bit of a little bit of color there. Um, so, yeah. Um, but anyway, guys, this will be available on my website, shaverfineart.com. Probably make it available tonight. Um, you know, I got some drawings for sale on there as well. Next time, next live stream, we'll be doing a drawing, pen and ink drawing. And I also have a support page on my website. Uh, you, know, you can donate to me on there or support me on Patreon. Check out my Bandcamp music, instrumentals and stuff. So yeah, check all that out. And uh, next live stream, whenever that'll be, maybe Saturday, something like that. Um, I don't know. I'll schedule it. Check out your subscriptions page. You'll see when my live stream, next live stream will be scheduled. Uh, also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe uh, hit the like button right now if you haven't. Please hit the like button. Helps me out. Helps the channel out. Um, and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I'll live stream like a few times a week moving forward. I think that's my goal. So um, yeah, maybe like Saturday possibly. And maybe we'll do a different time than normal on Saturday. That way we can get some different folks in here that we 
don't normally get. So I don't know. We'll try it. We'll see. Possibly. Not sure yet, but uh, yeah, we'll be doing a pen and ink. Pen and ink. So. All right, folks, I'm going to get off here. Uh, so thanks for tuning in, hanging out with me, and, and uh, hanging with me while I did this painting. It's pretty cool, right? Pretty good. Not bad. Yeah, I think it would look really good framed and stuff. So, uh, yeah, if you're interested in it, definitely check out my website in a few hours. You'll see it up there for sale, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Um, take care of yourself. Peace.